Hello, this is Valerie Killifer from the 2010 National Restaurant Association Restaurant Hotel Motel Show. With me is Don Sweeney, CEO of the National Restaurant Association. Don, the restaurant performance performance index rose above 100 for the first time in April, um, for the first time in 27 months. What do you think uh, that is signifying to uh, the industry and how restaurant operators are feeling? I must say, Valerie, it was a wonderful moment when that happened because we, we have been working you know, so for so long, for, so, for just a very long two and a half years, we just couldn't seem to, to come to a place where the industry was able to uh, come back even close to levels of uh, success that we had seen in just as recently as 2007. And so when the RPI rose over 100, it's a restaurant performance index for the first time, as you say, in 27 months, it was a feeling, I think, to the industry and certainly signaled uh, to us that some of the challenges that we've been facing, while still there in magnificent ways, the industry is working through and we are creating an environment where consumers feel more and more comfortable going back out to eat. And that's such an incredible piece of this. Consumer confidence is such an important part of our success here. And so we view this as a leading indicator, we hope, of a larger, uh, you know, not complete, obviously, economic recovery, but at least a return from a consumer's perspective of being willing to um, return to some of those uh, moments of celebrations, however small or large, uh, in getting back out to the eat, which is very important, obviously, to all of us. Well, and speaking of consumers, uh, there's been a lot of talk at the show this year about um, providing consumers with nutritious menu items, um, nutritious beverage offerings. And the NRA also recently came out in support of the um, Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation. How do you think that's going to change how operators conduct their business as well? Our industry started uh, probably two and a half years ago as we launched a new strategic plan focused on four imperatives, one of which is food and healthy living. And food and healthy living to us as an industry is really making sure that we have choices for consumers, that consumers have choices, and that they're able to make the choices that are right for them. And so as we have uh, supported and ultimately as was passed into law as part of uh, the recent uh, health care reform legislation, uh, menu labeling, nutritional labeling of menu, uh, menu boards and menus on calories, uh, that's a step forward, I think, uh, in terms of that commitment. But it also is a nationwide standard, which is very important to our operators and our members, such that they're not involved in this kind of patchwork quilt of differing reg regulations from one state or jurisdiction to another. So that was a very important mar marker of milestone, I think, for our industry. The first time, really, our industry had proactively supported um, legislation of this magnitude in a many, many decades. Beyond that, though, the Healthy Weight Commitment uh, Organization has really announced recently, and this is made up primarily of packaged goods companies, that they're going to reduce the calorie levels in kind foods in general of by 1.5 trillion calories so between now and 2015. Uh, we as a restaurant industry are also looking at what uh, we might be able to do, and we have some uh, conversations ongoing right now, actually, in that regard. And I think it, at the end of the day, it's going to be a company-by-company, chain-by-chain uh, organization by organization commitment that's going to be made here and that's the way we believe it should be. There should be no mandatory regulations around these kinds of issues but companies should be able to show their creativity and their commitment to this in the way that makes sense for their concept and their brand and that's what we're uh, trying to encourage while at the same time being responsive to what we know are uh, serious public health concerns. There definitely is a lot uh, going on in the, in the restaurant industry right now. And, uh, just, you know, you guys are doing a, a great job, we think, and uh, hope uh, to the industry's continued success.